All right. Um, so last time you guys were uh, hauling ass out of uh, Brander Scar here, and you've made it into the courtyard uh, where Grumblejack, you know, bursted through the door, and you uh, and Grumblejack uh, converged on these two guards outside the the front entrance to the main keep, mm-hmm. and you bludgeoned them to death. Um, but in the process, uh, you were very loud about it. Uh, so there are dogs barking from the kennel to your right, and, uh, some guards have just stormed out of the, uh, main double doors to the, the front of you. Um, and that is where you're at, so, uh, I guess we'll start this off by, uh, everybody rolling initiative. Alright. And just... Oh, where's my spell? I'll have to... Uh... Clear list. My Mythweaver sheet doesn't have my spell sheet anymore. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> that That's fine. Mythweavers is uh, doing very well tonight. <laughs> Mythweavers. Mythweavers. Yeah. Oh, wait, there it is. Found Sponsor. It. I refreshed it. It came back. <laughs> okay. Alright. Initiative, you said. Yeah. 28. Boom. <laughs> wait, wait. Mirren has an initiative of 16.06. It, um, I'm a little confused by that. Yeah. 16, 16.06 means that your initiative modifier is plus 6. So if everyone does it that way, and I have an initiative modifier of 0.5, and I get a 16... You still go before me because point six goes before point five. Okay. Uh, it makes it look weird, but it's math. I mean, it makes sense. I was yeah. really confused there for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty new to the like macro system for using Pathfinder sheets specifically, so yeah, that'll be fun yeah. to set up later. What are you playing? Me, Ninja. Okay, yeah, you're gonna probably need some macros. Casters don't need them as much, but... I still have a lot of them, though. I I mean, I set up some of the basic ones, like my initiative, my perception, like the basic saves. There's a pretty badass one you can do for melee that takes into account your size. Let me see if I can find it. We had an um, my, my... enlarged person happy wizard, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, gonna, muffin, I'm... it didn't uh put my. Thing. Yeah. Uh, if you click the number, you can actually type it in yourself. It doesn't do that, so that would. Be All right, cool. That works. You guys. Yep. And then. All right, actually, that was higher than that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the series is up first um, all right so i'm gonna cast the mage armor on myself okay and yeah that's it <laughs> all right uh masculine the wonder gnome um just masculine is fine thank you i'm going to <laughs> look at one of my spells okay Okay, um, I'm going to use my gnomish ability to cast Speak with Animals. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to try to, um, talk to these angry dogs over here. Alright, uh, roll the handle <laughs> animal. Would it be handle animal, though, if I'm talking to them? Um... I would accept a diplomacy. Wicked. (laughs) That's what I was expecting anyways, was diplomacy, because, you know, you're talking to them. I mean, you know, dogs obviously don't have a language, they don't talk, but... I speak (laughs) orc. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Uh, yeah, that... Okay, so... (laughs) you, You start talking to the dogs, um... In, in, in bark speak. 
and and they they were barking furiously and just biting at the uh, the gate, but then they s- kind of stop and they they cant their heads to the side and they look at you confused for a few minutes, and then they look fairly calm, and they're just staring at you. Sorry, yeah. I had an interruption. What was that? Uh, you've 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 calmed the dogs down. They they can't their head at your bark, bark speak, speak, and they're kind of confused because they've never talked to a gnome before. But uh, they they've come they've stopped barking ferociously as they were, oh, yes. and they're, so just, they're staring just staring at you. at you. All right, and then move action. Let's see. Um, big scary man with swords, grumble jack in the way. I'm going to stay exactly where I am. Fairly, Fairly good, good position. position. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, that'll be my turn. All right. Um, what do we got here? All right. He's going to move one, two, and attack Grumblejack. Does Grumblejack have reach? He does. So he'd get an attack of opportunity when he moved. Mm-hmm. 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 So, Grumblejack gets to do Grumble Smash. A Grumble Smash. Oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that's just, that's just he sad. Misses. He misses. He poked. <laughs> he poked him. Poor Grumblejack. All right. <laughs> I feel so, so bad. And that's going to hit. <laughs> and do two damage. So damaging. It is. Can you put a health bar over Grumblejack so we can see where he's uh, at? Or yeah, we... let's, uh, why is the health bar not up there? He's at... How do you make it show? Because I've I've typed in his health value. Um, you gotta go to settings and uh, give it and like like mine's five out of seven under bar one. Yeah. Do you have a um? Yeah, it's an X out of X. You also, I think, on the token, you have to hit show bar one. I don't see that option. In the settings inside the. Uh... Like if you oh, double click on it, it should pull it. Did you give okay. Him, uh, yeah. Did you give him health out of something like X out of X? Uh, yeah. Like, can you there see my health, health bar? Uh, I can't see your health bar, and I can't see Grumbles. Oh, yeah, well, well, well. Yeah, yeah. Has to be visible to all players and right. Riot gotcha. And yeah, that as well. Oh, where do I set that as? Wait. Hey, so... I think yes, settings okay. under advanced there's a checkbox for C that should open it to all players, I think. Uh, I don't have an advanced. <laughs> I just have bar one, bar two. Do you bar see three. it now? Do you see it now? Uh no. still no. no. See mine. Try it, GM no, don't worry about no, it. Don't worry about it. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Cool. There yep, is. that works. Oh. Also, oh. can you just tag my I picture to fit right. the entire square? What is it? Can you just adjust me to fit the entire square? Being rectangular is boring. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be square. All right. Oh, blessed relief. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Grumblejack's turn. Grumblejack will turn to the offender. Uh- <laughs> and no fend. We'll both off and end him. With a grumble smash. And it is a hit. Yay. Does he know does he only do one D six damage? User left your channel. Indeed he does. It's a melee. Oh. Uh just a basic uh oh, right, yes. Yeah. Yep. He doesn't go he straight no, no. to that. He he does. It should be a plus three. Hmm. Well, it's not. It's registering as one d six plus blank. Ah. Uh, okay. I see. 
Go ahead and... Oh, that didn't really help him out still, Yeah, still 1d3. Let's just add. So basically add, what was it, 3 to every... Yeah. That's... That's annoying. Okay. Damage result, damage to I plus. Hmm. Yeah, I'll mess with it later. Add three to that, so. Seven points oh, of damage. I, I ran points of damage. Last night. You have to, uh, don't put the plus three in there, thing. Just put three. That makes any sense. Alright, so he just hammer fists the guard in the face and he like almost falls to the ground and stumbles back and he is bleeding from the head. <laughs> Has a severe concussion going on. Good grumble. Um and now it is the second guard's turn and he is going to run up and uh doesn't understand the concept of big motherfucker and is gonna take a grumble <laughs> smash. Does Grumblejack? Oh yeah, Does Grumblejack <laughs> took a turn. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that hits him with another Grumble Seven. And he he does the same <laughs> thing, just turns around and bops him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so that guard's like, oh, and just stumbles back, and then like kind of lunges forward for his own attack. Uh, which is the twenty plus five fifteen, and that will hit. And it is now back in the turn order to the series. Heck yeah! Uh, I'm gonna use my longbow and shoot. This guy. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> Completely fail. <laughs> that you do. The most useless wizard. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> <So> true. <laughs> and then <laughs> Yeah, um, that'll be it. <laughs> Alright. And now on over to Masklin. No, Honestly, I'm not, I'm not much more <laughs> use right now. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> well, I, I removed two enemies from this combat, all right? <laughs> True. <laughs> that you did. True. Um, I, I, I got us out of jail. <laughs> no, I got us out of jail. I, I think Grumble got you out of jail. <laughs> I put a hole in the floor. Grumble put a hole in a door. I released our manacles. <laughs> I put That's five it. guards into a little moonlight chamber where they can that talk about that was a big day. Okay, all right. I basically <laughs> I, gave I, them like what team effort, guys. Eight, team eight, effort. eight minutes in heaven, <laughs> but now it's like twenty four hours. <laughs> all right, all right. All right so, 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 um, Masklin <laughs> isn't going to be of much use right now, except as he pulls out his teeny tiny crossbow to take a teeny tiny shot at this right guard. He is uh -huh. going to um actually no, he's going to reconsider his life choices and instead cure light wounds <laughs> on Mr. Grumblejack. Good choice. I didn't notice how hurt he had been. It's at seven health points right back to Grumbles. All right. Reconsider his life choices. <laughs> All right. So guard here is, uh, he is going to just attempt to take out the biggest threat, literally, because <laughs> this ogre is truly frightening. Um. And he is going to flail his sword in a frightening manner. Yeah. And actually hit! And he is going to do... a minuscule amount of damage. 
He's gonna do about as much as I just healed Grumble for. Yep. Alright, so... Grumble turns back to him and just growls and bops him on the head again. <laughs> just imagine like a taller toddler <laughs> just sitting on the floor <laughs> oh bopping his little toys he back missed. and forth. Dude, that is, is the that reason one. that Grumbles and Masks are going to be such good friends because both of them are like toddler mindset. <laughs> And he misses. And while he's like missing the bop on guard uh, number one here, guard number two takes a quick swing at his side and hits. We might need Kate. <laughs> oh, damn. Yep. And Wait, he... Do we have a ninja cleric? That would be pretty crazy. He does oh, quite a bit of damage yeah. to Grumblejack, stabbing him that side with his sword. Oh, sword. No. And Grumble oh, no. roars out in pain. A wound Back to the series. Wizard beast. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to use enlarged person on Grumblejack, make him even bigger, and give him more <laughs> hit points because he is even bigger. Boom. <laughs> 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 well, Grumblejack grows to greater size, and as he grows, there's a there's a statue of uh, um, I forget the god's name. Mitra. 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 That's, That's it. it. There uh, was a statue of Mitra. There's a statue. <laughs> yeah, there was a statue of Mitra in front of him with a nice little fountain, some shrubberies, and pl like you know flowers in front of it. And as he grows, he's just like. <laughs> and just and now there's a Grumblefoot. <laughs> It just knocks it over. And uh, I'm going to have the guard. Uh, let's see. Let's do a reflex save. Okay, yeah, he dodges out of the way of that sh shard of a Mitra head <laughs> flying through the air. Um, and it's on to mask going. Yay. Um, I'll do what divine casters at low levels do and heal everyone. <laughs> Four health for Mr. Grumbles. Heal some of the Grumbles wounds, but he's still looking pretty worse for wear. He should get some more hit points because he's another size category. Um, what is the, uh, the hit point bonus for that? Uh, I'm not sure. I can look it up. I think it'd probably be at least five. I'll look it up, though. I don't think that's true. No? Yeah, I think they just... they. Yeah, but it boosts strength. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. He gains strength, but he loses uh, another... Or... AC. He loses, he loses dex, dex and he loses more AC, so even more squishy. What is what is, what is con go up? I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. Let me change his the large to huge. Let's see what All that right. does. Um, he does more damage. Uh, let's see. He was large. Yeah, it doesn't affect his constitution, unfortunately. Yeah. No, it, that, some it, spells do that. Like uh, righteous might does that, but. Doubles his height and multiplies his weight by eight. Um, the target gains a plus two size bonus to strength and a minus two penalty to dex and a minus one penalty on attack rolls and AC. So it's basically plus one damage and extra reach. Yep. Oh, and he, um, his fist goes up to D8s. All right, well... Yes. D. He's also not going to be able to get back inside. I can reduce person him. <laughs> Fortunately, that hits. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't that Viserys' turn? Yeah, it was, yeah, still, it was my still my turn. turn. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, and then I'm going to shift. Keep going with that. And then I'm done. <laughs> okay, now it's Masculine's turn. Masculine is going to five foot step, 
pull out his crossbow and take a shot. Okay. And as he does so, he will swear to Grumblejack that he's going to protect him. Tiny little gnome that he is. And because Masculine doesn't break his word ever, he's going to get a plus four bonus on this attack roll. <laughs> the um, legalistic curse ability for the oracle. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rolling to confirm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. You got a crit. You got a critical hit. I like crossbows. Um, unfortunately, I don't actually do much damage with this, but this is basically a great sword attack. Eight damage. He's dead. You... Shot through the heart, and masculine's to blame. <laughs> you give love, and guards death. <laughs> death. This is why you don't hurt Grumblejack. It's a bad choice. <laughs> You've made some bad life choices. You regret them now. So yeah, you shoot him right through the heart, and he's too vain, because he falls to the floor in a bloody mess. Yay. And now all that is left to contend with is guard number one. And he will miss. And on to Grumblejack. Yeah. Shall Grumblejack get the Grumble Revenge? Mm-hmm. Let us see. Actually... Grumblejack is going to pull out his uh, special move. Oh no. <laughs> he's going to reach over to the dead the guard dead. next to him <gasps> and he's going to grab it and hoist him up and hold him in both hands by That's the feet, feet like he's a great sword. Body okay, okay. Would that, that classify as a large weapon? It does. It does. He does and he's going to use damage. This beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. This is a great sword. Oh, 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 that didn't include his roll. attack bonus. Oh, it didn't. His attack, attack bonus, bonus is... is... Yeah, okay, that's that's well going to hit. And it's I need to re-roll the damage because that's incorrect, right? His damage does 2d6, 2D6 now. now. Yeah. 2d6. Because of enlarged. Yep, yep. Oh, but that should actually... I, I, I rolled, rolled that wrong. wrong. Damn it. Just 12. Yep, yep. yep. Ooh. 14, that works too. Okay, okay. yeah. Then the so, yeah, he he grabs the other guy in both hands and wields him with surprisingly good form. Uh, <laughs> uh, looks like he's been trained to be a knight to wield uh, people. people. <laughs> and this is going to downward, downward strike, strike and hit the man with the other man and it's going to clash and in a crackling of bones and he's just going to fling the other... Uh, guard aside, and what's left is a just flattened guard. <laughs> yeah, he's great. And he is dead. Good job, Grumble. There's actually a barbarian um, rage power that lets you do that. Should have made Grumble a barbarian, huh? But Grumblejack would be an amazing barbarian. Is he not a barbarian? What is he? No, he's he a fighter. He should be he's a paladin. A paladin. <laughs> Perhaps you can retrain him. A paladin or Oh no, he's still large for the next minute. Oh, is he? Okay. Yep. Um, so Grumblejack, uh, he is large and he's looking around, uh, unsure what to do now that he's uh squished these three people and the dogs aren't barking, but uh roll a perception. Oh, Nobody. I wanna tell Grumble to break down the gate. Beat All right. the juggernaut. Grumble is going to uh run headfirst into the gate and slam, slam into it. Um, I think I might have seen something. <laughs> yeah, uh, you see, you can look to your uh, right and left, and you start seeing, uh, t like, torchlight just race across the walls. Yep, time uh, to go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's go time. It's go. There are several guards, several guards trying to find their way down the wall to, to you. After, the, after he smashes the gate, um, I suggest we run masculine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Sounds good. One second. Um, Maskin's gonna go over to... Are we still in, like, initiative order, or...? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 you guys are out of combat, out of combat for, now. for now. Alright, Maskin's gonna go pick up some, like, 
parts from the squished guard and throw them to the dogs. Because they're nice. Nice doggies. <laughs> the dogs are gonna just start mawing at the parts and they're gonna, like, fight over an arm. <laughs> um, Masculine did good. Grumble did good, too. Good job. Grumble did very <laughs> does, good. Does, does Grumble eat human meat? <laughs> Of course, he's an ogre. I toss him an arm. <laughs> he's kind of busy right now. Grumble, well, Grumble's going to get hit in the back of the head with the arm. He's going to turn around and look at the arm on the ground and shrug and shove it. like He's going to shove it into his pants for later. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and then he's Would you consider that to armed that. assault? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Grumble is going to... Uh, continue to headbutt the door uh, and he does it like three or four more times before he, it bursts open and he just kind of slowly forces his way into the room and let me reveal that for you boom there's another door head Grumble Jack's just gonna go ahead and sprint towards it and start smashing it with his hands alright could you give us uh, a little more um, vision into the room like I can't tell where walls are. Oh, sorry. That kind of is where the walls are, but... Oh, okay, no, no. Yeah, Oh, yeah. yeah, there there we go. Yeah. Um, can I make a mental call for, uh, my, uh, companion? Um, you can try. Henceforth, Miss Rape. I'm gonna call for Miss Rape, uh... Hey, Miss Wait, Rape, what? What is I that thing's name? Here. Miss Rape. I'm done. <laughs> I am done with you. <laughs> that was Damon's doing, actually. That was no. That was uh, Roll Twenty's doing, actually. Because okay. I, I, you know how it makes the random uh, character name whenever Did it you click. Actually, I swear, I swear to God, it like made the character name different. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to keep it. Because <laughs> that's beautiful. That is wonderful. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you can, you can kind of communicate telepathically with your uh, familiar, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, you can tell that uh, it, can't, it can't seem to get to you right now. It's trying, um, but it can't find its way. All right. It sounds distressed, but that's about all you can tell. It sounds distressed. Yeah. Is it reason to be worried? <laughs> um, you can't really tell. It just it it sounds upset. It's upset that it can't get to you. Oh, it's okay, like I'm okay. sorry, master, but I can't get to you. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. You sound so distraught. <laughs> yeah. It. I kind of sounded like a robot there. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry master, but I cannot I get to you at the moment. moment. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't Please, leave, leave a message back. after the beep. Beep boop boop beep boop. <laughs> and then, uh, in transmission. Um, <laughs> in transmission. <laughs> so, so, okay. It's all about number. Please press pound. In the efforts of fast tracking things, uh, Grumble Jack is going to pile drive through the door like a boss. Uh, like a boss. And... Grumble Jack is the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah. He yeah. is. And you are presented with this downward climb down this uh, rather steep, muddy road. And on either side, is uh, a rocky uh, kind of cliffside into the ocean. Can we see, like, how far is... Hmm. is I'm trying to reveal it, I'm sorry. sorry. Alright, no problem. There's really no easy way with a bunch of squares. Just make one really big square. <laughs> yeah, or okay. use the um, polygon tool. Right, right. I know. Okay, so it appears there's, like, no point at which the land is just ten feet away from each other. Right. Here is where the land is. And you can see down the path, uh, it's dark, um, and there's no lights or torches until the very end of the, uh, of the bridge up ahead. And you can see the silhouettes of some guards standing on a ledge to the side. And, uh, one dog... Hmm. Um, how far away am I from them? Yeah, could you reveal the, uh, over here a little bit more? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. 
140 feet. All right. I need to move one, two. Is there, would it be possible just to reveal like all of the ocean? Like, is there any reason we shouldn't see that? Uh, no. There's just some text and stuff from the book off to the side. Like, it's not... It's just ocean. Until Hell, this coastline. coastline. Where's right, the coastline? Um, Too far for us to see, or... Uh, you guys... Yeah, you can see the coastline, because you see the bridge ending, and there's a light there, and... It's okay, not so far so off that you can't see what's underneath the, the torch. Basically, the way off is the bridge. Uh, from what you could tell, that are, of course, swimming. Right. And I guess we should just fight our way through the bridge then. Um, keep running. Hold up. There's got to be a door that they go through to get into that room, doesn't there? What, this room? This room here? The ones up with the guards. Um, actually, hold on. I might not have revealed oh, that for one. you here. Okay. Uh, this is a platform and then right behind here is a door and there's a wall here i and it is slightly slightly elevated over the uh okay so it's a platform not a yeah yeah oh well that's unpleasant like how high up is it it's it's the same height as the bridge it's just kind of like like... a side oh uh... so it's not like a like a post or anything no 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 it's not like a guard tower or anything like that it's right. just, it's just a little their checkpoint. Platform. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything coming through the checkpoint? Um. Why don't you roll a perception? All right. Ooh, God eight. damn it! I am on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, Masklin's little gnome ears, uh, perk up, and you can hear the sound of horses, uh. Just just beyond the light, um, and uh, if you squint real hard, you can make out se- uh, a couple more shapes and a much larger shape. Oh my! Can I just point out that my last four rolls have been twenty, nineteen, nineteen, eighteen? <laughs> right. This is yeah. making up for last session. <laughs> yep. <Okay. laughs> and so, now and to now ensue to the bad luck. Yeah. 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 Cue, Cue bad luck here. <laughs> All right, so Maskin's going to advance up to the wizard, um, and just generally look around. Um, it's let's really wait for the, for the large, large object, object to get to us, and then we'll ambush it. Oh yeah, do we have um? Is there any place where we could hide in this like marsh area? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. this this is like a uh, it's kind of like a rocky uh black uh just rocks and uh. Uh, it's just kind of jagged and stuff. It's uh, there's there's could be a fair amount of cover if you uh, hid, you know, amongst the rocks. Um, All right, All right. So, so let's go hide. So if you want to roll a stealth, um, would has it been about a minute then? Uh, yes, it's it's been a couple minutes. Um, All right, Grumbles, now back to his normal size. <laughs> right. Grumble, Grumble, I need you to stay very quiet with us. Don't make any noise. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Masklin is invisible. <laughs> He's a blade of grass. Masklin is... Masculine, masculine's very small, and he just wedges himself nice and neatly down into uh, behind masculine a couple rocks. Masculine becomes the rock. Right, he is one myself. with the rock. Right, Whereas Grumblejack is Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> That's true. Uh, let's see. Grumblejack can roll himself. Boom! The wizard is also invisible. <laughs> Grumblejack sees your example and he's like, okay, and he just sits down where he's at. <laughs> just... Grumblejack is the master of disguise. <laughs> he's All like, right. Grumble is still, Grumble is rock. Oh, God. They, they never, never know. 
<laughs> and okay, I don't know what to do with this. Um, <laughs> and um, did, did as you're as him? you guys are are. Uh, um, I want to. I'm gonna cast dealing disguise, with that. This guy's on Grumble as a rock. Okay. Um, Which um, I think it gives him a bonus to stealth. Yeah, I think so. Plus ten uh, to the previous roll, or just a plus ten and okay to his stealth. Okay. So. As you as you guys are talking though, um, this cart, yeah, which is too. moving my tokens around awkwardly, uh, is going to advance, start to advance across the bridge, with uh, one singular guard leading the horses upward, and uh, you see a man driving um, the cart, and that's about all you see. All right. So um, Grumble is now disguised as a rock. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and Grumblejack is just going to be like, I am rock! And he's just going to, like, curl <laughs> up into fetal position and be a rock. <laughs> I am Groot. So this cart is going to make a slow climb up the, uh, the steep incline here and uh, not be awkwardly to the side. <laughs> and All right, it's... ambush. Nah, yep, all right. Three things. Um, actually, could I do them before it gets to there? Sure. All right. <clears throat> um, like, when it's back here. Okay. okay. Uh, a little further back. There we go. So, uh, Masculine is going to break his stealth. Okay. Run over to here. Okay. And use, um, he's got two of these left, use his Moonlight Bridge ability. <laughs> oh my god. I am going to... I really hope the horses don't know to stop. All right. So go ahead. Let me just draw the um. Yeah. yeah place, place the line. <laughs> this is bothering me. Hold on. Get the. Gah, the line tool. Sorry. <laughs> I saw Moonlight Bridge and I hoped that someone was going to be using it really creatively. It he took me is. back to like feather tokens that could summon boats to block passage. <laughs> I basically there was there were guards in a passage and I put one on each side of each door. So they're not coming out of there. For twenty four hours there are uh <laughs> like seven guards stuck in a <laughs> tiny room. <laughs> that made that was the highlight of this campaign so far. <laughs> this may Whoa, trump it. Uh, did you did you draw the, okay. okay? That's so, not far. That's too far. Let me. Yeah, I don't know how to resize. Hold on, let's see if let I can move it. it. Is that good? It's it's too big. That's all. That should be ten feet. That's fifteen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so uh, there it's it's very dark because there's there's really no um, there's no light source around. There's no torches down this uh, rocky path. Um, there is a small torch lamp just kind of on the front of the carriage, and that's about all the light they have. So um, they're going to just continue to advance, and they're not paying a lot of attention. And <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> as it advances, uh, the guard fails to uh, notice it and fails a reflex check. So he's he's going to run directly into it, and before he has any time to notice, the horse is going to run against him and trample him, and then they're going to run headfirst into this, and uh, <laughs> he's going <laughs> to scream. The horses are going to raise up, and they're going to uh, whinny and clomp back down onto the poor uh, guard. <laughs> and he's just, he's been trampled twice in the stomach at this point by a horse, and he's laying, uh, moaning in pain and trying to crawl out uh, out of the way of the the horse's hoofs. And the horses are, are frantic now. They're trying to back up, but they can't because the cart's in the way. So it's so just... Sad. <laughs> So these horses are they're trapped and they're thrashing and they're starting to break the uh the, the front of the cart uh 
okay. uh, Axel. As, and this guy, is, is, he's starting to jump out. He's like, oh my god. Yeah, as this is happening, can I shoot him? I want to shoot Go for him it. With my longbow. And if by the way, another one. Um, the rest of you guys are, of course, in the back of this God damn it. Um, And <laughs> you guys are chained, manacle, uh, to the cart. Um, and uh, by your hands and feet. And you're sitting next to each other. And you're going up a rocky path, and then all of a sudden, bam! You you just you jolt forward, and then you hear the screams of the guard, the whinny of the horse, and the guy scream, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and that is what's happening to you right now. Can 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 I try to break out of my shackles? Uh, sure. What would that be, Frank? Uh, yes. Oh, um. So since I failed hitting, sorry, my dad walked in. Otherwise, I'd have done this sooner. Um, That's fine. Can I burn a hero point to reroll? Sure. You have one hero point right now. I thought I had two. Oh, are we playing with hero points? Yeah. It's a um alternate system that you basically you get them when you do cool f- when you do cool things. Yeah. Um, yep. and then you can spend them for all sorts of things. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hit him. Um, and the arrow sticks in the guy's shoulder, and he, uh, stumbles out of the cart, and he's, uh, not gonna, he's just gonna be on the cart, like, grasping his shoulder, uh, as he, like, starts to slowly get up. And, uh, as far as your strength check, uh, you yank on the, um, the chains, but you're not getting the budge yet. You're just yanking. Um, it's not, I mean, you're chained up. You know, you're not... Right. Try to not get a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run up to him and stab him in the throat. Can I get a coup de okay, um, for that? Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, or, or is this initiative now? Well, he's not. He's not fighting back. Um, he's going to start to stumble back. Uh, and uh, start to run. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. You can. He. He is an unarmed. Uh villager just trying to make a living running a cart and he's yep, killing fuck him. this shit okay you run after him <laughs> <laughs> you run him down and he's like please please don't hurt me take the cart you can have the cart oh i'll, oh, take, I'll take the, the cart. cart and then i slit his throat <laughs> so, <Damn>. okay <laughs> you're just mean cold-blooded <laughs> I'm uh, evil. <laughs> he falls you to his to knees and he's gurgling as blood like fountains out of his throat and he just falls face down on the rocks. As he does this, I will be Asmodeus who accept the sacrifice. Ah. And you, you don't have to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can be evil without being mean. I know. <laughs> Alright, um... My character tell you Maskin's gonna try to calm the horses down. Can I kick them? Okay. Can now, I to make noise? Fortunately, I can't speak yeah. to them anymore. But... Alright, oh. you hear somebody kicking the shit out of the wall to make noise in the back of the car. <laughs> I'm gonna search the guard and the driver for keys. Alright, Maskin's uh, handling animals. Yep, yep. The g- okay. Uh. That fails. They are they are violently thrashing now, and you hear the uh, the the um the front axle piece start to crack. Um, and they don't like your presence. Uh, they're freaked out by anybody at this point, and they're trying to veer uh kind of uh this way. Um, in their es- attempt to flee. Um. Uh... If you want to try that again, uh, you can. But if not, I'm just going to kill the horses. Or take the horses. <laughs> um, the I might as well just give it one more try. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you another, another shot. shot. Okay. Uh, that's better. So, you... you as, as, as you remain, um, you seem less threatening. Uh, they, they start to to stop thrashing but they still seem very uneasy and they they continue to just just whinny and and kind of look back and forth like a paranoid look and just they're they're stump like stomping their feet 
like they're anxious. Okay. But they're no longer thrashing the card about. Um, Did I find the keys? Yeah, you found a ring uh, with one uh, little skeleton key on it. Okay, I'm going to go back to the back end of the cart. Can I see in the cart, or is it just a solid door? It's a it's a solid door, but inside the cart, uh, the door just opens up without a key, and uh, inside the cart you have uh, uh, a... What you have is uh, a human uh, nestled up next to a big-ass uh, bugbear uh, <laughs> in the very center of the group on one side, and then on the other side, squeezed against the wall, is the catfolk. All right. <laughs> Big four hundred pound bugbear is just squeezing both of you against the side walls. Like <laughs> they gave him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an uncomfortable journey for all of you. <laughs> there was a lot of now. bro to bro th- uh, thigh touching, and uh, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> and the entire party learned you know things about themselves. <laughs> Uh, hmm. who are you? (laughs) (laughs) All right, fine. (laughs) Um, you did. And I'm just thinking, like, in character wise. Yeah, okay. Yeah, are you guys prisoners? Why are you soon? Why are you in chains? He right, said, right. please, let him out. Alright, I open up the door and unchain him. Alright. Frank? Yeah, I'm gonna start searching frantically for Cuddles. And I'm just gonna start, like, yelling out Cuddles' name. Oh, wait, okay. Are you <laughs> Kieran Lannister on our team? <laughs> we do. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna yell to Grumble. Come here, Grumble. Come here, Grumble. No, that's Jamie. Grumble's gonna be like, okay. And he's uh he's gonna follow in line over here. Um you He's a moving rock. <laughs> <laughs> he gives new meaning to the phrase rock and roll. Yeah. Um uh, he gathers so, no so if you would calm down and check, uh which the others do, uh you would find a uh uh several bags just uh hoisted on top of the cart. Um so you get, and they each contain uh, the gear that was confiscated from you when you were captured. Um, but your frantic yelling, uh, uh, and combined with the horses, uh, alerts the guards down at the checkpoint, and you hear the barking of the dog, <laughs> and uh, the guards yell, "What was that? <laughs> what? Are you okay up there?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) And uh, Jamie lets him know that he boinks his sister, and they're all confused. (laughs) Is it possible to turn the card around? Not a whole lot of room. I'm going to put all my stuff on, ask Cuddles if he's okay, and then I'm going to pull my great swords out. (laughs) To be be clear to everybody, Cuddles is a uh, teddy bear. Yeah, he's he's attached to my belt if you can see him on my picture. Yep. Um it's a four hundred pound like muscled out uh bugbear. Oh uh, his token should be bigger bear. than that, shouldn't it? No, no he is medium sized. Oh he is. Yes. Uh-huh. I'm he's only not seven foot large. Foot tall. Right. Right. Only Got seven it. foot. Only. Why do we have the bugbear? Cause why not? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm also going to cast Sky Self as the. And uh, that's that's your drive bluff. Yep. Well, it would be stealth, wouldn't it? I know it would be bluff. No, no, no. He's he's disguised. He's bluffing. So, uh, yeah, you run up and you're like, what? What was the commotion up there? Uh, 
The peasant can't control his own horse? That's... Ah. Damned horses. Well, uh, tell... Tell Berkeley to fire that peasant and get us a decent driver. Oh, I fired him all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I mean, you get the prisoners up the hill? N you need a hand? All right. Uh, let us know if you need anything. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Jim, see you later. Yep. And they're just going to walk back to their post. All right, well, good job. Um, Hey, Maswood, you still got those bridges? They can't go too far, and that water looks cold. I'm Masklin. I am, and I, Viserys. And this is Mr. Grumbles. <laughs> Grumble uh, is escaping. <laughs> Grumble is gonna look at uh, the bugbear at that and be like, "No shit." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start talking to Grumblejack and Ogre. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately. We Very escaped. Well. Throm is Throm, not Forsaken. Of course not. <laughs> oh, I see you're an As a worshiper of Asmodeus. As am I. You wear the pretty stars. <laughs> Um, mine pretty much looks exactly as my token picture does. Um, he also is wearing a holy symbol of Asmodeus, or unholy symbol. So many stars. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are blowing Masculine's mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, gr- It should just be 1d8 plus 1. Is your character's name right. actually Frank? 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so you're gonna close some of Grumble's No wounds. one has infernal healing, right? Um, I'm afraid not. I have a wand of infernal healing, so I'll use it on Grumble. Which okay. actually, I did already use it on Grumble. He should have been healing when I, from last game. Um, that's true. What is that? Uh, it's a hit point per round. Healing per one round. for a minute per so. round. So I didn't keep track, but I'm sure. Let's just go ahead and bump him up to, and I'll keep track from now on. Um, All right. All right. And I'm also going to cast one on myself. I can get my hit points back. Okay. Okay. You guys are all patched, patched, up. patched up. More friends are never a bad thing. I'd be happy to have another worshiper of Asmodeus with us. Indeed. I don't know about friends, but it would benefit all of us to move together now. Are you saying we're not Drop friends? <laughs> I've had bad luck with friends in the past. Well, masculine is good luck. And thus our ragtag band of heroes. <laughs> Indeed. Not so heroes. <laughs> <laughs> anti hero <laughs> So Masculine is totally so, the hero, he's just on the wrong side. What you have Certainly an option. 
Yeah, yeah, or um, we could all four of us sit on a horse and Grom and uh, Grumble could just we... run for it. Could we put Grumble <laughs> in the cart? Um, if you look into the cart, you could see that uh, one Grumble would fit, or four of you. Let's see, what um, there's... Uh... there should be actually six of us, because Kate should be with us. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, I was, That's what I was thinking. Can one Grumble fit in the cart, and then two people on it? It will be fairly weighed down. Um... Um, I could always just reduce his size again. Oh, yeah. If reduce you reduce his size, then yeah, he could fit just like one of you guys. Yeah, I'll cast, uh, before, bef um, before we do it, whatever we're doing, before we bull rush it, then I'll do it so that it gives it plenty of time to stay on. So do we turn the card around? Yeah. Uh, roll a hand handle animal. No, I'm seeing... Oh. Oh. Uh. Ooh. The you're gonna start to turn it around, and you're gonna kind of almost misdirect them, and they're gonna they're gonna stop here. But this horse is almost gonna slip on the rocks. Mm. He's gonna before, stumble back. Well, before he does that, I'd like to assist. Okay. Uh, let's see what. My uh, you guys can make another that. one, one more try, and uh, whoever wishes to assist can assist to the roll. They're all like all right. well. Okay, so right, Throm so is going to lead. <laughs> Do you want to assist him, or no? I'll assist, yeah. Okay. There's my assist, so yeah, that passes. He gets a plus And there's two. mine. Boom, okay. Yeah, so... plus two from each of us, so he gets a 22. Yep, so you guys, you guys all are just like, Come on, horse, come on, come on, <laughs> he's a good horse. Throm smash horse face. <laughs> And and the horses are <laughs> the gonna horses are actually... end up turning around. Horses are right. unaligned. <laughs> Did you see how they trampled that guy? They've got to be evil. The the right horse is evil now. <laughs> <laughs> I know just that, like punching the dead body of the guard. <laughs> and oh uh, yeah, horse disguised. I'll, I'll disguise I'll... myself as the. Driver. Okay. Okay, so oh, you so. have two up front, one guard, one driver disguised. Yes. Um, and then that leaves you with uh let's see, five people to fit in the back. Yeah. I'm small, however. Uh okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh you will have to sit on somebody's lap if they will allow Grumble you to do so. <laughs> Grumble Jack. Alright, yeah, Grumble Jack's cool with you. Grumblejack uh, lets you sit on his lap and he pats your head. You sit down. We are bros. I'm going to ask <laughs> Grumblejack in Giant why he is letting small man things sit on his back. <laughs> Grumblejack is like, oh, Grumble like his pet gnome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm ugly. Exactly. Grumblejack is a dumber uh, claptrap. <laughs> That's terrifying. Is that possible? <laughs> Alright, uh, so you guys are going to have to roll a combined effort of stealth checks as we get towards the gate here. Alright. Excellent. That's stealth. Well, okay. Here, here's what we'll do. Oh, uh, yeah, well, everybody Why? in the back roll really a bad. stealth check. Everybody in the front roll a diplomacy check. And okay, a diplomacy. All right. Uh, all right. And Grumble, I think he gets a bonus to Dex because he's small now. So oh, one wait. fail. I get a bonus to stealth because I'm victory. small. I forgot about that. Two victories. Three victories. <laughs> I failed. Um, is, there any, is there anyone else? Masculine should actually have an 18 instead of a 14. I forget that gnomes get the built-in plus 4 to I don't see stealth. your... Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, okay, that's enough pass with even without Grumble Jack rolling. So you guys are like, you know, whistling and just strolling on by, and uh, <laughs> the guards give you a nod, and uh, one of them walks over to the gate and pushes it open, and uh, the other one's holding back the dog as it's, it's as continuing it's to bark, and he's like, bark, these he's damn like... mutts. I love how the cart went on, but we're all still sitting here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awkward to move y'all around. So, okay, so you guys, <laughs> you guys just uh, meander on past the gate. Boot. Um, and... I guess we'll head for the mansion. Where? where? Yep. Uh, What's-her-face told us to go. All right. Well, all right. So, yes, so... pretty lady. The lady told us to, if we were to escape, to go to this mansion, and yeah, <laughs> oh, so we figure why not. Throm does not know lady, but if Throm can smash, Throm will follow. Nah, it'll be fine. All right. Um, so. The road is going to kind of uh trickle off, and it's going to uh just kind of uh lead you on uh a real winding path uh through a really dense marsh um and on either side of the road and even over top the road in some positions is just uh, a thick coating of uh mud and then just uh you know stagnant water um and uh yeah, it's 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 slow going, and uh, the two up front. Uh, one of you roll in, or both of you can, uh, if you like, uh, roll perception. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hear um, you hear some uh, some more horses uh, footsteps up ahead. And uh, you hear some men talking uh, just around the bend. Uh, proceed. <laughs> yeah, disguise myself as a. Uh, okay. The driver. I didn't... Uh, that's okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So as you round the bend, uh, you see some uh, what looks like a, a few soldiers, and. Uh, a couple horses, and they're they're riding uh, in the direction of the keep. Okay. And uh, they they see you coming back, and they say, "Halt! Uh, what business do you have coming from Branderscar?" Real buff. Okay. Um, and he's. Uh, are you both disguised as guards? I'm disguised as the driver. He's the guard. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm. He, I'm just gonna keep quiet. Let him do the talking. All right. And be like, ah, okay. Uh, how many were there? I didn't. Three. I heard there was. A, I heard there was a rather big fella going in tonight. Uh, is, did he give you much trouble? Ah, damn bugbears. I didn't know they gathered, uh, came this far, so far south. Damn things. You'd think the wall would keep them all out, but. Ah, yeah. Sounds bitches. Alright. 
Well, uh, you folks have a great night. Um, do be careful. Uh, swamps uh, are traveling on a cart. Yep. Yep. And I'll pass you on by. Did we just get pulled over? <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I love the fact that we're actually, like, smuggling people. Yep. We got past border control. You just got past border <laughs> control. So you're doing all right. So uh, you travel for quite a while, and uh, it, it's it's well into the night now. Um. So, uh, would you like to keep on going? Press on. Press on. Press on. Yeah, press on. All right. right now, Not like see. we're expending too much effort driving. <laughs> right. The horses, uh, they don't have, you know, eternal stamina, but that's, yeah. there you go. Okay. Um, let me see. If I cared you, about the horses' belt, I'd ask them. <laughs> you travel for two more hours, and the horses uh, just slow to a stop in the road, and they're just, they, they don't want to move anymore. Uh, they're just they got stubborn Mask can... Glenn, get out here <laughs> talk to the horses I can't talk to the horses until a day has passed damn <laughs> um but we have a, whip? We have a whip okay a perception yeah. roll um it's it's getting quieter as night falls. Um, there's always the ever-present uh, whining of, uh, you know, mosquitoes in your ear and uh, just the, the sound of crickets in the background. But you hear, um, other than that, it's, it's really quiet and you hear a sloshing in the distance through the water. But that's about it. And it's emanating from up here. Yeah, I do too. You, you uh, both would actually hear it, yes. Yeah. You sure can? <laughs> what is the, uh, what is the, um, the range of light? Like, is it just... I'll look it up. <laughs> I could probably see it. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a twenty foot from the point it touched. Okay. So. Yeah, I have dark vision too. I All do right. as well. I'm an elf. <laughs> you see water, but it is uh, there's a heavy rippling in the water. You don't see anything else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also going to cast light on a rock and throw it over. <laughs> Just going to tell the area. <laughs> all right. Uh, I mean, you, caught it. you hit it, and it the the water ripples out, and you see like a like a movement in uh, the water, uh, like a real quick thrashing, and then it dies out. And right. uh, roll one oh, final yeah. perception. All right. So, hold on, let me, let me pull something up real quick. Thank God I got a good roll. <laughs> but somebody did not. <laughs> <laughs> no, Frank, no. <laughs> did I, Frank? Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, He's God. He's so small. <laughs> How long does that last? A minute. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yeah, he's just he's, walking. Yeah, he's walking okay, yeah, to he's it. had to been. Um, so I'll have him roll one real quick. Where is this guy at? Okay, here he is. Okay. Uh, what is this? Aha. Okay.
Okay. So, uh, out of out of here, uh, you were gonna see it, Viserys coming, but it's gonna happen so fast that there's not a lot you can do to warn, uh, poor Frank. And uh, out of nowhere, a huge frog is going to leap forward, and he's just gonna <laughs> end right here, and oh, his yeah. tongue is gonna lash out against uh, Michael. Tom, he's gonna <laughs> er, <Tom>. Frank. <laughs> Oh, remember that? and that's against AC, so probably not gonna hit. Yeah, I do. Okay, so his tongue bounces off your armor. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Uh, that's freaking true. Oh, yeah, true. Can we have our tokens <laughs> back, please. Hmm. Oh God, Grumbles needs to have like a fist fight with this thing. Uh, thirteen point two. Masculine. Hot men on frog action. Or ogre on frog, rather. You guys and... Terrible people. <laughs> Your mother is a very wonderful lady. Your mom's a saint! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, initiative tracker would be nice. Boop. Clear. Do I need do I need a reroll? Uh where? Wait. Are we gonna do it for the counter or No, yeah, we... uh throw it in there if you've already rolled, but Okay. Uh, okay. Why do we have two Franks? Uh, because it fucked up. There you go. There's, there's not enough Frank to go around. <laughs> oh, Frank. <sighs> Alright. Um, uh, Mirren, did you roll? Yeah, 26.6. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Mirren goes first. Um, you can you can ca you can jump out of the cart with uh just that's one space and you'll end up behind the cart. So um, I probably should have placed it one up ahead here. So. Quick question before yep. we start. Um, sure. Is two weapon fighting, are you going to consider that a full round action or is that just a standard action? I think it's a full uh, round. It's a full it? round. Like if you're attacking okay. with both weapons, yeah, it's a full round. Okay. So what's Mirren going to do here? Um. Is the frog a three by three? It is a um huge. Is it large or huge? It's huge. Okay. okay. So it's yeah, it's three by three. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the max. Yes it is. Um, you could roll a history or local knowledge if you want to know more about it. <laughs> or you could poke it in its Or you could poke breaker. it to death if you didn't give a shit. Because it's just trying I mean, to eat you. I don't think, think anybody, think anybody would be like... Be... Yeah, I mean... You know. Throw it out there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for stabbing it. Okay. <laughs> Always a solid choice. You definitely hit AC. And six damage? Yes, that's what sneak attack. Uh, and okay. Uh, 
All right. Turn. Yep. So Lash Tongue is going to let's see. He's going to attempt to uh, bite uh, Frank again because he's intent on eating that cleric. <laughs> He likes him some human, and he is bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a lure, and he's you know. Ribbit. Connection lost.
connected. Channel switched. <laughs> hey, he's back. Sorry, I lost it mm. there for a minute. Oh, you're good. Bad. We just kind of uh. Twenty-one points of damage. Twenty-one points of damage. Right. Right. What? Oh, what the? Oh. Two D six plus three. Oh shit! That's what? Are, what are you attacking? What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. What are you attacking with? Uh, I'm dual wielding great sword. You can what? He's got monkey's paw <laughs> feet. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> you wait. You have monkey grip. God damn! Yeah, yeah monkey grip. You agreed to this. <laughs> Why the fuck did I agree to that? <laughs> God damn it. Alright, everything is getting buffed. Congratulations, <laughs> gentlemen. You've entered hard mode. <laughs> you, ch you chop its face off. Like the movie Face Off. Like, <laughs> the rest of it's still there, but you surgically chop its face off. And you can wear it as a mask if you like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the frog head as a trophy. <laughs> no, no, the head's still attached to the body. It's oh, it missing is. its face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take the face. Anyway. Uh, that you can, and uh, you oh, can try to track it using survival. I will assist him. I will also assist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how good Masculine is. Oh, he's not great at surviving. You're at, yeah, you're at two fails. I can't help. Three fails. I know, it just, just it, it, um, it actually, I'm assisting, so it's 11, and then it goes. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I like how you all were just like, everybody roll. Okay, who are we assisting? The highest one. All right, that one. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> oh my god. All uh, right. Uh, no. <laughs> so, a 17, it looks like. Even, even if you were assisting, you drug him down so much that you guys are like running around. You're like, hey, is this rock a clue? Check this rock out. It's weird looking. Is this a clue? Well, and then like, even, if they fa even if they fail with assisting. If they fail Wait, with assisting, I, do I don't scent. take a negative. I do have scent. So okay. I like smell the frog's face and see if I smell it anywhere else. <sighs> you I smell... also have scent. Okay, um... Who has scent? <laughs> Who has scent? <laughs> uh, I do. Folk Ninja. And... So, Throm. Uh, you didn't roll. Would you like to roll? For the, oh, he, uh... did. he did roll. Where's it he at? He got an 11. No, Th Thorm rolled. Uh, Mirren didn't roll. Oh, okay. Okay. So nine. nine. So I think it's like I'll give you a plus four circumstance. That's uh, that's that's three successful checks. So, all right, you guys can track it back. Yeah. Uh, and it it leads, uh. For, for quite a while into the uh, thicket of the swamp um, and eventually you come up to a cave and uh, let's see we need to take it if it, it has takes eggs, you take an egg well it takes you about an hour to get there of walking through the swamp All right. um, and you you're well off the road and you you find this cave it's a dark little tight cave probably just about big enough for the giant ass frog <laughs> Um, and, uh, inside the cave, you see a man, mangled body, uh, just lying up against the side of the cave. Um, so that's, that's what you see inside, just a, a dimly lit, sh like, shallow cave with a guy who's just, he's, just, it's a dead guy, he's mangled and just leaning up against the side. I'm gonna search it. Perception? Okay. Um... Yeah, that's true. Hey, we can also feed him frog legs, giant frog legs. You guys didn't cut off any frog legs. We'll cut them off when cut we get off. back. All right, 
It's now uh, well into the night, by the way. It's probably like uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I told Grumble to stay with the horses. You did not tell Grumble to stay I with did. the horses. <laughs> you walked an hour there, and then you said, Hey, Grumble, why don't you stay with the horses? And he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Would my familiar be with me now? Uh, funny you mention it. Um, out of the water uh, would slink a tiny little green bipedal lizard um and he would crawl right on up to the party and hop past and hop up uh, over to uh viserys uh and he would let you know that he'd been searching through this swamp forever and uh he <laughs> could not find you and he's very sorry it's all right little man i'm gonna walk up to him and say so i'm inform you you have green thing on what is it his shoulder yeah it's on my shoulder uh, thank you, Throm. I know. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys... You, <laughs> you guys said you searched the body, and uh, you don't have to make a perception check to search it. Uh, there's nothing hidden here. Yeah, on his person, um, you find uh, a medallion of gold and mm -hmm. um, some scattered coinage, uh, and it's... It's about 45 gold pieces once you pick it all up. Loot. Um, yeah. So 45 uh, divided by 6. I'm wearing my six. frog mask, by the way. <laughs> Everybody gets 7 and a half gold. Spend it wisely. <laughs> and a medallion. And the golden medallion. Yeah, I'll yep. take the golden medallion. You're going to just take it? Uh... I mean, unless someone else wants to take it. I mean, we're all going to sell it party loot, right? Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Just asking if what anybody thinks about that. You guys want to do party loot, share the loot, or whoever gets it first gets it? What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Don't think we should in that. Agreed. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. So, uh, <laughs> while, while you guys are conversing your, uh, party economy, uh, Grumble is going to, uh, mosey on over to the body and he'll be like, yes, and you can pay Grumble in bodies. <laughs> Grimble will start to uh, try to rip an arm off and start gnawing on it. Yes. <laughs> just very casual, like he'll just plop down at a seat next to it. I'm going to go over and sit next to him. All right. I, I'm, I'm changing. Gnawing, keep gnawing on it. I'm changing Miss Rape's name. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. He has to be named Miss Rape. It was, it was decided by the fate of uh, yeah. Roll 20. <laughs> He is now choppy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Betrayed us all. <laughs> As Nodeus is displeased. <laughs> Rocks fall, you die. As As Nodeus himself. <laughs> I say we get back to the horses and go. The pretty lady told us not to not to wait. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And yes, it's us. I don't know your sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All Masklin knows is that there was a very pretty lady and she'd hold him to go. Yep. Well, that sounds trustworthy. <laughs> She also she gave us, me. she gave us magic things. So yeah. speaking of which, yeah. did we didn't we have like a community treasure thing on the Bob? A community treasure thing on the Bob. Like community inventory. What do you or mean? Or was I imagining that? I think like, you were imagining that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what you mean. 
I mean, like, I don't know how we split up the veil and all the stuff we found. Oh, um... We mostly just took it. Yeah, I think you, you still have a rope. You still have two daggers from it. Um, and right. you use the you use the wall, or the, the portal. The portal. Um, used up the window. Uh, yeah, uh, somebody still has a uh, thievery kit. Masterwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I, I think I have it. And didn't we have, like, a box from under a man's bed? Uh, you, d- you didn't take that with you. No, but we it opened was very it. We heavy. The, uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was, oh. it was an extremely heavy chest, and you didn't, you oh, didn't carry it with you. I thought Ron smashed it open. Yeah, didn't Did he? he break it open? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I'll I forgot to make the chat last. Um, just fine if you did. I just need to look up and see what was actually in there. Or uh, we may have completely forgotten about it. That's also a possibility. I don't. I don't think you did because uh, you tried to lockpick it, and the lockpick was very advanced. So yeah. it, it kind of required you to sneak around and find the key, um, which you obviously did not do. Um. So, yeah, the, commu- so, the logs aren't really helpful in figuring this out, so... Yeah, oh well. yeah. I, I, I really don't think you did. Uh, oh well. Um, so, okay. So you guys had the choice of taking this nice safe cave for the night or continuing on foot uh, at 1 o'clock in the morning through the swamp. I'm gonna... Well, don't we have yeah. I'm gonna ask Grumble Jack what he thinks we should do. Uh, Grumble's going to, uh, in answer to that, he's going to put down his arm, grab the the body of the, the old, mangled, dead, uh, traveling merchant, and he's gonna <laughs> lift it up, and he's gonna, with a just sickening crunch, rip off a leg, and then he's gonna offer it to you. <laughs> and say, we eat. But what do bear, do bear bugs eat? <laughs> Why not? Oh, sure. All goblins can eat people. Why not? <laughs> uh, I'll take it. If All right. Take him. He gives you a nod and <laughs> continues eating. Continues eating. All right. I, I say we go back to the horses and continue. Yeah, let's go. All right. So you guys take another. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh. Well, does everybody have dark vision? I think. I do. We have do. someone who can cast light. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Both the people who have dark vision can cast light as well. <laughs> yeah. Are you casting light and traveling with that? Or um, not unless we need it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. That is. Very good decision. Um, roll survival. I don't think we can assist, can we? Uh, whoever's leading, I guess. Whoever's the first person in the party just trudging through the swamp and everybody's following. I think we're on the carriage. I think we're on the carriage. Yeah, we're taking uh, the horses. Uh, well, no, you, you have to, you traveled an hour off course from the horses. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we had on horses. Sure, I'll go oh. first. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can go first. Or, Let's oh, have Frank go no, first. No, 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 he yeah, can cast yeah. things. Okay. I'm gonna stay with Grumblejack. I'll All be right. right behind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Frank, Frank leads you all uh, through the swamp because he remembers the way here. Uh, he kind of memorized some of the uh, the foliage and stuff like that, and. He tracks back towards the um, towards the uh, carriage. Carriage, and uh, you guys surprisingly find the horses still in position. Oh well, good horses. Now <laughs> board the carriage and let's go. Yeah, you thought it was gonna uh, make them run off, didn't you? Yeah, I, I didn't think yeah. we'd do that. <laughs> there was oh, a chance. Uh, can we cut off the frog's legs? <laughs> uh, yeah, the frog has not leaped away because it's kind of dead. So. You may do whatever you wish with it. Cut it up yeah. for meat and rations. <laughs> Alright. Um, if you take an entire frog leg, 
uh, you can probably fit one of them on top of your cart. All right, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> give the other one to Grumblejack. He can eat it. Okay. Yeah, we'll give. Yeah, we'll give the other one to Grumblejack so he can munch on it while we're walking. Grumblejack's gonna like like move it around in his hand, and then he's gonna like swing it through the air like a weapon a few times. And be <laughs> yeah. like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Frog club strong, and he's gonna be happy about that. Okay. All right, and you guys continue on. Um. He does. <laughs> I forgot He's all forgotten all about it. All about it. He, he just like kind of dual wield the leg and the arm. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have two weapon fighting, but. <laughs> oh well. I mean, now at least if his primary <laughs> weapon gets destroyed. Yeah, he needs yeah. monkey grip. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, at least if his primary weapon gets destroyed, he'll always be armed. Yeah. Uh... Uh... <laughs> 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 all right you guys continue on along the path and uh there's not a lot more uh intrusion for the rest of the night it's a quiet night um and you guys arrive You guys arrive at the manor. The nice a, manor. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, it's in the swamp, man. <laughs> it's like, this is the place. Well, actually, it, it's fitting seeing as we're evil, but this is like the place where teenagers go to die in horror movies. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so. Drop like house. At the door, uh, you reach the manor in time, and. Or you reach the manor, and it's it's about three o'clock in the morning. But even despite this, uh, you see Theodora waiting patiently in the doorway uh, of the house, and uh, she she gives you a um, she gives you a smile and nod. Um, she says, "Dearest, you took long enough." Uh, go ahead. As you requested, madam, we are here. Now, what do you want with us? Oh, well, I was, I was... I, I see that. Um, I'm not sure how Cardinal Thorne will... Uh, will take to added uh, personnel on this mission. He doesn't want more friends? Uh, friends are tricky business in our line of work. We trust them. I'm sure he will trust them as well. Mm. What is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we so, need to figure out how so... we're going to pronounce this. Osmodeus or Osmodeus? Or... I've heard it's Asmodeus, but that's yeah. how I've always heard it, Asmodeus. I... And then Whatever, is man. it Mitra or Mitra? I think I've it's Mitra. It Mitra. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Too many things. And yeah, it's, I, it's whatever. <laughs> we know what you mean. Yeah, dialect. Um, she'll she'll descend down the steps and uh, say, "The master commands all of you to appear before him, but before that, you must be made presentable, slaves." And she'll clap her hands, and uh, a dozen attractive women will uh, flurry out behind her, uh, and they'll quickly uh, f- uh, circle around her and bow their heads, and uh, she'll say, "These people are our guests." And uh, she uh, will motion towards you and say, Seed them to the rooms. I want them cleaned, dressed, and freshened quickly. Uh, and then um, <laughs> as she says yeah, quickly, yeah. she has like a sharpness on it. Like like it's almost a threat. Like see them dressed and freshed quickly. And then with that, she'll spin around and ascend the steps again. And the slaves... Um, they will come and uh, attempt to take you by your arm and, and show you inside. Um, 
so sorry for the girl who was taking me. <laughs> Would. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Um. Yeah. Uh, yep. so, <laughs> so they'll each take you up to uh, your rooms, and you all have your own respective room in the manor. Uh, and they'll, they'll, you know, give you fresh clothes that are all conspicuously perfectly sized for you. Even, <laughs> even the, even the bugbear has a nice uh, set of fine clothing. Uh, I'm imagining a bugbear in a tuxedo right now. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, bugbear exactly. in an evening exactly. gown. Wait, hang on. I'm going to request the 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 slave woman that she gets cuddles a suit as well. Uh, she she, she just kind of stares at the, the the doll and she's like, I I I don't think I I I don't think I, and like it's like you you broke the robot. She's like, I I, I can't can't compute, <laughs> and she's just gonna run out of the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does Grumblejack uh, get a room? Grumblejack uh, doesn't actually. Oh, Grumblejack, <gasps> he just stands awkwardly. He didn't get a slave. He didn't even get a slave. He just he stands awkwardly in the foyer, like foyer. ducking to fit inside the house, and he's just like, mm, and just watches as all the slaves rush by doing things like, and they're they're, they're all doing things in like almost a, just a very robotic uh, fashion, and their eyes are all glazed over as they're they look at you and it's just like like they're they're not even there can i share a room with grumbles if you would like you have have... one bed and it's not it's a full-size bed wait 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 he didn't get his own room no he didn't no he didn't what the hell hell, they're really mean to grumblejack so i'm gonna um you know what we're bros we can sleep together it's fine i mean technically uh, wait, this is a full-size bed, so could it fit two medium-sized creatures? Um, it could fit two mediums. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. a large and a small, so... <laughs> Alright, you guys are gonna have to cuddle. <laughs> Masculine sees absolutely nothing wrong with that. Grumble is... He doesn't even understand why that would be wrong. He's just like, whatever, if I get to sleep on something, I get to sleep on something. <laughs> so... With both of you oblivious to the weirdness of that, that's just going to be left up to the party to be like, what? <laughs> I'm just going to go to my room. I ask for food. Where's my food? Do you have any uh, food? With, yes. Um, the, the, uh, you ask your slave for food, and uh, she is going to nod, and uh, actually all the slaves are going to uh, leave your presence and return with a... Uh, a decanter full of wa- red wine, um, and it's, uh, it's it, it's it's a like a really thick kind of, a really dark. It it looks like red wine, but it's and it smells it smells kind of off, kind of herby. Ooh. Um, but it's 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 different, and you can you can roll a check on that if you like. Uh. Uh, spellcraft, yeah. All right, I'll do spellcraft. I have Mom wicked high spellcraft. Drink. Wicked hand you drink. It's wicked. Wicked uh, smack. This is my spellcraft. Uh, this is plus eleven. Damn, Skippy. So twenty-five. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, it's it's not a tough check, honestly. Uh, because it's not being hidden from you. It is. Uh. Relatively recognizable to um, if anybody's ever used a healing potion, uh, they would recognize the scent of the herbs. Uh, it's a uh, just equivalent to a potion of cure light wounds. Ah, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna drink it. Be sipping on that. Now, where's my food? <laughs> yeah, and they they present you with some fruit, uh, just a basket of fruit, assorted fruit. Great, like a basket of fruit. A fruit basket. <laughs> Are we at a funeral home? Where's the yeah. meat? <laughs> oh, Grumblejack's pants. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. I'm not that hungry. No, I'm not that hungry. Uh, I'll eat some fruit, but that's about it. Okay. 
uh, well, at least we got out of prison. <laughs> All right. Way better than prison. So, yeah, so you have you have a little bit of free time to relax if you like. Um, and Theodora will be uh, waiting in the din- dining room whenever you're ready to speak to the master. Uh, but she'll say, you know, take some time to relax if you like, but uh, we have a schedule to meet, so do not dally long. I'll... Well, of course. What kind of secret evil base would have would this be without a uh, shrine to Asmodeus? <laughs> You'll uh, actually out back uh, behind the uh, um, manor, um, and if you if you ask a slave, they'll direct you to it. Um, there'll be a separate uh, sort of room, and inside of it will be a, a very nice shrine um, with like a like a stone tablet. Um and uh, inscribed with the uh, the star of uh, Asmodeus in an otherwise empty room. Uh, I'll go with him. Yep. Yeah. I'll go with him and pray to Asmodeus, <laughs> and then after I'm done eating and drinking my wine and praying, I'll go back to Theodora and wait. Okay. I'm going to go and get part of the frog and start eating it. <laughs> Alright. So. Is there anything else that. you guys are doing before uh, going to uh, meet up with Theodora? Um, are we allowed to rest overnight? or? Um... I think it's implied that we're allowed to meet up with him. him. Yeah, he's he's waiting for you. I'll go to the area. I'm uh, I'm not ready to go. I'm just waiting to find out why this person would apparently help a bunch of people break out of jail. Since yeah, right. Who is this mysterious cardinal? So okay, you all meet in uh the dining room. And uh, she um, she will uh, not she will nod to to you each and uh, motion for you to follow her. And uh, Theodore leads you uh, to a beautifully appointed, richly decorated, uh, uh, very very nice uh, like tapestries on the wall. Just it's uh, tons of like books and there's a there's a fire uh fireplace and uh a very very ornately carved desk and there's a large like uh armchair uh and it's it's pointed uh away from the desk uh towards the um the flames and you see the back of it um and uh somebody roll a perception All right. All right. Um, nobody caught it. Uh, okay. So you 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 don't notice anything additional to that. Um, but. Uh, as you, as you enter, um, this devilish handsome fellow, uh, stands up from the chair and turns to meet you, uh, and he gives you a, a, a smile. He says, I believe you'll be the first to ever escape from Branderscar prison. Well done. <laughs> of course, uh, you had help from the outside. And from Mr. Grumbles. Uh, indeed, Diogo. He was a fine resource. Uh, but enough with the pleasantries. You must be curious why I've helped you out. Rest assured, this is no random act of altruism. I have brought you here for a reason. My name is Cardinal Adrastus Thorn. I'm the last high priest of Osmodeus left on the island of Tra- uh, Talengard. Once the Prince of Nessius was rightly revered alongside the other great powers, now the king of Talengrad has become a puppet of Mitrian fanatics, 
who wish to destroy any religion that does not bow to their incested god. For their blasphemy, I will see the people who had imprisoned and condemned you suffer. I understand what you went through, for I have faced it myself. And with that, he will pull up the sleeve of his robes and reveal a runic F brand, just like all of yours. I'm going to burn Talingrad to the ground, and, for the, and from the ashes I will build a new nation that knows its rightful master. I cannot do this alone. I seek servants worthy of, infernal ma uh, of the Infernal Father's majesty, and I have found them in you. He raises, uh, he, um, bleh. His his eyes briefly flash with like a like a like a faint uh, orangish glow, uh, and it, it it you can't tell whether it was just the light of the the fire in the room or or something more, but he he crosses a f several steps towards you, and says, "Join me, serve me well in this holy endeavor, and I will raise you up in the eyes of gods and men." I will make you princes of New Talingrad. Today I swear feel today swear fealty to me and Asmodeus put aside forgiveness, and I shall grant you vi vengeance. Put aside mercy, and you will be made powerful. Put aside peace, and you will become harbingers of war. What say you? Will you swear your allegiance, or will you burn like the rest of the blind fools? Uh I bend the knee. And say yes. <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he arches a brow at your response, but says nothing. He, he nods, and he looks to the next. You're nice. This <laughs> sounds good to Throm. Throm will follow. I am Sean Connery. Exactly. <laughs> he, he, he act. If if he actually looks exactly like Sean Connery. Oh my God! Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course he does. Like Sean Connery. Yeah. <laughs> that was my. That was my. Uh, like like slightly like not now old guy Sean Connery, but you know like like um, like Hunt for the Red October Sean Connery. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> my favorite version. Uh, of Connery. like like particularly um, what was that movie where he was uh King Arthur? Oh. King Arthur? Arthur. Yeah, fuck, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, because that's more, uh, more lore appropriate, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, oh, man, this man is attractive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and he's assembling a league of extraordinary gentlemen. <laughs> and lady. So, okay. So you all, I assume, agree. Um... And uh, when you accept, he says, Excellent! Let us make it official, then. Shining in blood is traditional. And he brings out a quill and a silver knife from uh, one of the drawers in his desk and places them down on there, on the, uh, on the, like, the forefront of the desk and motions you over. Uh, and, and the, the, the parchment, or, uh, what, what would be used as parchment on the desk is not paper. You can definitely tell that it is some sort of skin or hide. It's kind of hard to discern what it is. Can I um, see what it is? Uh, sure. Yeah. What I roll, survival or nature? Sure. Uh, nature. Knowledge nature. of nature. Oh, wait, I don't have knowledge of nature. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do it. Never mind. I have I have nature. Uh, plus nine. All right. So seventeen. Uh, yeah, you can't tell, but it's definitely skin. All right, <laughs> of some sort. It's so um, skin, guys. <laughs> this is the contract. Uh, I don't. Did that show it to you? Uh, uh, no. You have to put it in our journals and hit show all players. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see how I do that. How do I do this? Everyone has freaking pizza pockets. I want pizza pockets. 
damn it. Dude, I bought 160 of the damn thing. In I want some players' boxes. journals. Are you uh, making them all at once? No, I just made probably about 25. <laughs> Thinking I, I might go to the store tonight. Second bag. Bag. Make some for us. Yeah, I okay. want some. How do I? We'll just come down to South Carolina and you can have some. All right, fair <laughs> enough. See you in about twelve hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Well, that you'll need a military badge. Ah, uh, I got that. No, I'll just a little stealth. Presidential up in here. <laughs> um. I don't know how to add this. <laughs> I know who I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, we've all been there. Anyone who's ever DM. This is, yeah. This is this is this is pretty stuck. Do you guys know how to add uh, this? Uh, oh, look. Look. Can look you do you have the handout prepared? Yeah. Uh, there should be an edit button. Do you see it? Oh, in okay. There we go. Boom. In your play journal is now. The Pact of Thorns? Yes. Yes. Yep. Alright. Um, and there are a stack of these um, on the on the table. And uh <laughs> Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> Wait, where where do I look at this at? Uh go to uh, characters. The characters tab, it's a newspaper. Yeah. yeah. Then go to oh, the Pact of oh, Thorns see, down in the handouts. Okay. The other day I'm talking to you. I'll sign it. Okay. So, um. I'm gonna write as large as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Masculine like, is larger than John Hancock. Is Thorm <laughs> even uh, literate? Yeah, I, I would imagine so. He has to end. Okay, I was just just wondering. I mean, you know, goblin. It's safe to ask. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't. Really he, care. I thought he'd be funny. He just like walks up there and he's like, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Masquin just sort of scribbles something. It might be his name. Nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows. Which one is it? <laughs> yeah. Um. Almost like this entire <laughs> like thing is made to keep you from killing each so other. So by sounding evil. this, am I swearing that I will serve as Medea? Uh, that you are. Okay. Um. I don't know. So I guess, I guess I already signed it. So he he lets you each keep your copy. Um. Just make a photocopy. No, no. I mean, you, you guys signed one, and you keep that one, but he has one in his hands as well, and he hasn't written anything on it, but it's it's there. He's just kind of holding it. Uh, and he, um, he says, well done. Uh, yes? Raise your hand. The, the contract is to my service. This is my plan. It does say as long as we uphold the loyalties, we will be rewarded as we deserve. That is the only reason that I put my name to the contract in the first place. This is a contract between us, yes. What is that? I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely. I I have no need to betray my own agents. <laughs> it is understandable. You've been in Branderscar. <laughs> I'm do do see do see the uh do see the uh slaves on your way out. They make fantastic tacos. 
Um, he'll say, well done. Your first command, prepare yourself. Stay within the manor. You are still hunted by the Talengard soldiery. Three days time, we will begin your training. <laughs> Let's get turned up. But do remember, you are to stay within the walls of the manor for these three days. <laughs> to, to smoke, to smoke what? <laughs> Meat. I, I, I don't want. I don't know what you seek to set on fire, but I surely hope it's not this manner. Manner. Talengard. <laughs> no, in, in due time. In due time. <laughs> One fire at a time. <laughs> you may use any resource you deem necessary. Mr. Grumbles isn't a resource, he's our friend. <laughs> Theodora has other uh, tasks to complete. You're not the only thorn in this pact. Yes, there are several others. Wait, did you say there's... I'm not the only thorn. The only thorn. thorn. Oh, thorn. Okay. <laughs> You're not the only thorn. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, no. Hold up. What? Isn't he <laughs> thorn though? The. <laughs> what? No. Yes. I'm the final thorn. You are the ninth thorn in the pack of. Uh, Knot of thorns. There are many other groups of agents working on a grand scheme. It will bring Talengard to his knees. Okay. And uh, with that, he'll motion his hand and he'll go back to sitting at his uh, chair. And Theodora will come and uh, motion for you to leave. Alright, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Snuggles with Grumbles. <laughs> the slaves follow your command uh, without falter. Every command. Every, every, command. every command. They are they are like emotionless servants that just do oh, that's beautiful. every command. <laughs> 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 All right, so he takes four up into his room. Uh, I'll take should two. We, <laughs> should, should we roll for endurance? No, I'm just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you guys are getting an extended rest, and with that, uh, you can get some experience. All right. Everybody loves experience time. Yeah. So let me let me go ahead and add this up real quick. Um, um that's a good question. <laughs> I think it's uh I, I I suppose just medium. I think it's medium. Yeah. And you had seven hundred and uh seventy five uh after the um leaving the uh, leaving Brandish Scar total uh, each. And then. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and put you all on the same level for now. Um... You know, what we could do is um just not use experience. We could. But, I mean, like, if you're gonna have trouble calculating it. No, no, I already I have it calculated. No, no, um, and then add oh, it for your okay. journey here, uh, 154 each. So, what is the total? So, uh, 775 plus 154. So, you, yeah, so you're at 929. Uh, 929, yeah. 
All right. Mm. No Dean. Close? Nah. Less than halfway. Oh, that's true. Right. 2000. Um, let's see. So, um, additionally, uh, for this uh, three days, um, uh, on, on the day you wake up uh, uh, directly after meeting with uh, Cardinal Thorn, uh, you'll each be greeted uh, at the door of your rooms with uh, one slave. Um, and they will be carrying a uh, a small bag of coins, uh, two hundred gold each. Um, a uh, they give you a uh, a strange like iron circlet. Um, it's like a like a small iron crown that fits on your head. And. Uh... That it the, is. Uh, basically, it, isn't this just a hat of disguise? Uh, yes, yeah, that's what it is. Um, the hey, Iron Circle, uh, it, it, yeah, it just it casts disguise self on you. Yep. yep. Yeah. It also is very uh, pretty. It is. Pretty. Hey, you said it was 200 gold, right? Uh, 200 gold, yeah. Uh, and, and they tell you that, uh, if you wish uh they can uh send uh a slave or two out to uh the nearby town uh to inconspicuously buy you some things um can i do a spellcraft check on the circlet to see what sure. all it does yeah uh so 11 okay um, the circlet of wrought iron alters itself to comfortably fit on the wearer's head. Um, it allows the wearer to alter its appearance as a disguise self spell. Uh, as part of the disguise, the circlet can be changed to appear as any sort of hat, headgear, or uh, hairstyle the wearer desires. Sweet. Yep. Well, can make it look like anything? You can have you can have any hairstyle you want. Afro it is. <laughs> yep. All right. So, uh, do you, would you like to send a uh, send a small envoy of slaves out to purchase you some items? That's all I uh, need. Holy simple. That's all I need. Uh, I don't think I have quite the money to buy any new spells, so I'm good right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't buy anything until high levels, so. Right. All right. Fair enough. Um, so, uh, you'll be spending the next three days, um, within the, uh, just within the walls, um, you do notice uh, pretty early on that you're not the only group of people here. Uh, there's actually uh, five other people uh, besides the servants and the um, uh, Theodora and Cardinal Thorn, which you, you rarely see Cardinal Thorn uh, the entire time. But... Are there any bugbears? There are no bugbears. Uh, what there is is um, there is a human, um, uh, a female human, um, and she's like very attractive. Uh, she, uh, she is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she's uh, there's there's an attractive human uh, with uh, a female. Uh, there's a um, half elf. Um, there is a male human ranger, 
and a male human cleric who is also carrying uh, a symbol of Osmodeus around his uh, neck. And uh, they they keep to themselves. Um, and they, they never try to approach you, but you can certainly choose to approach them if you want. I will make friends with okay, all of them. Do what? <laughs> okay. This size. Okay. <laughs> um. So, um, I'm gonna I'm talk gonna to Elise. Talk, talk to Elise. All right. Uh. Elise, you approach Elise and she just looks up to you, up at you with like a narrowed uh, stare and she's like, what do you want? Who are you? My name's Elise. We're what the are White you Ravens. Doing here? Uh, we are a thorn just as you. We have our tasks. Um, can I like try and woo her? <laughs> if you like. Yeah, I would like to. Uh, what would you say to woo her? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I can't right. think of anything. Can I just roll for it? I don't know how... You can't just roll? F- like, you just... <laughs> you just stare at somebody and you're just like, Magic! Um... Hmm. Wait, what class is she? How does such a beautiful woman such as you become in service of the Master? I don't think my beauty had anything to do with it. Um, and her tone softens at that, but she's she's still rather short with you. Um, uh, she said, we've all been uh, chosen for our particular skills. But of course, one wouldn't be chosen if they weren't powerful. It stands to reason. Hopefully you are as powerful as the Master believes you are. Because it would be very uh, detrimental to your health if you were to uh, become a failure and make our time wasted. To say, crossing her uh, arms as she leans back against uh, one of the walls and just stares at you. I I feel as if the Master would not waste his time if he knew we would become failures. That one seems like he has an eye for potential. That he does. He's a very special man. But you're a very special woman, are you not? We are all special here. In our own way. (laughs) Uh, I'm running out of things to say. (laughs) Odor. <laughs> Odor. Uh, um, because yeah, where, he's where, no good. Where, 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 where's this conversation taking place? Uh, you guys are in the uh, just the dining hall. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk in with like a frog <laughs> leg and just start eating it. <laughs> All right. All right. She's gonna she... look at you eating a giant frog leg and be like, "Uh, where did you get that?" <laughs> From Slade Frog. That we is a very a... big frog. <laughs> we ran into a giant toad on our way here. We killed it without any problems. Brom killed it without any problems. She looks, <laughs> she looks back be- between you, kind of like confused, and she's like, ah, uh, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, <laughs> but I'll pass. We just <laughs> escaped a brander sky. I've heard. That's an impressive feat on its own. Feat on its own. Mm. Though I've heard that brander scar's uh, security has fallen into disarray after its former warden passed away. It was no Perhaps it was easy long. trek to get out of that fortress. But you did. Perhaps that stands a reason. Uh, you are uh, at least potentially as powerful 
as the master believes. We shall see. And what of your companions? Who are they? Uh, she'll, uh, she'll like motion across the uh, through one of the doorways to um, a pair of uh, like the half elf male and uh, the human male, mm-hmm. uh, and they're they're sitting on uh, a pair of chairs and they're conversing. And she'll say, uh, "The knife ear's name is Dawson Alphen. Uh, he is a barbarian. Uh, he he is very good with his blade and." He's a right large man, uh, and he is a very, very muscular half elf. Like it's he's he's not the thin kind of like stealthy elf, you know. He's he's a big burly motherfucker, huh? and uh, she'll nod her head to uh, um, the man beside him, uh, and she'll say. Talus Rackburn, or uh, Track as we call him. He is our ranger. Um, and then she'll uh, she'll look to you and be like, he has an older brother, he has a brother, twin brother, his name is Trick. Um, he is likely outside, next to that shrine, uh, praying. He is, he's a cleric. Uh, he's, I, he's, he's a, he's a, sir, he's, he's got a, He's got a strange mind. But he, he's a good cleric. He's good at what he does. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Um, did I succeed in wooing her? <laughs> she... You, I mean, she's not super short with you anymore, at least. <laughs> you <know>. Yeah. <laughs> Progress. She's not, she's not gonna bang you but <laughs> oh no i'm not looking to be banged yet i have slaves for that <laughs> it's true i feel like she was more impressed by me <laughs> right <laughs> with your intelligence as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's into the furry men exactly. <laughs> the furry goblins you mean yeah just that that coarse Shaggy, dirty hair. Just... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No. Um... Uh, well, after that, um, uh, well, I hope to see you around sometime. Maybe we may run into each other again in service of our new master. And with that, yeah. I'll leave. She'll, she'll nod and... Cape swish and leave. Oh, cape swish and leave. <laughs> She's impressed by your cape swish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, anybody else uh, like to do anything? Um, I'm going to spend the day with Grumblejack. <laughs> okay. So what are you, you and Grumble doing today? You guys um, get up yes. and you're in the same bed and you're like, what are we going to do today? <laughs> we are, yes, exactly. We are currently bromancing right now. Um... <laughs> This swamp water looks wonderful to go swimming in. Let's have a pool party. But, but, I, I thought you, I thought we can't leave. Pretty, pretty human lady said we can't leave the, uh, big, uh, wood cave. Wood cave. Wood cave. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Well, hmm, let's go exploring. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. Um, Maskin will sort of just tug Grumblejack along as he goes to explore the manor. <laughs> you just kind of tug him along by the finger. By like the toe. <laughs> or like by, by like the hair on his legs. That's that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like follow behind you. All right. So, what is our exploration turn up? So, you have. The uh, all the rooms that belong to y- your group, um, all the rooms that belong to the other group upstairs, and then you have the stairs downstairs. And in the downstairs, you have an uh, Andros room that you met and spoke with him in, um, and that is adjacent to 
uh, the dining hall. And then that is adjacent to a uh, larger sitting area. And then uh, off to the side of that sitting area is a door. Hmm. Um, let's open the door. Uh, you would tug on it and it would be locked. Um. Bah, you're no fun. I feel like having Grumblejack smash this open would be a bad idea. <laughs> Grumble will su- he'll suggest it, because he's, af- after all, every door that he's came across so far in your company, he's just smashed. So he'll lift his, <laughs> he'll lift his arm and he'll be like, Grumble open? No, no, they don't want us to break their house. Hmm. Don't worry, we'll Grumble find doesn't something like else to like explore. <laughs> The door oh, killed his family. <laughs> <laughs> they got caught in a revolving door and died. I okay, so I'm uh, sorry. I'll, I'll tell this story later. It's kind of off topic. Um, <laughs> sorry. Right now, let's see. Um, hmm. I think I'll just return to the room and talk to Grumblejack about his family. Okay. Does he what would you like to ask? Have a like family? Ask uh, well, ask uh, me if it's family. Uh, Grumble will shake his head. No family. What about your mother and father, Mr. Grumbles? Uh, mother and father die. Oh, I'm sorry. My father died as well. And He'll shrug his shoulder, and he doesn't seem to have... He's just like, it's okay. Like, it doesn't bother him at all. Do you have any brothers, Mr. Grumble? Ah, uh, Grumble will probably have many brother. But uh Grumble leave tribe long ago. Oh are you all alone, Mr. Grumbles? Grumble not alone anymore. Grumble have pet elf or pet gnome. <laughs> and he'll pat you on the head. Oh I used to be alone, Mr. Grumbles too. Mm. He'll just sort of look sad for a moment and then just snuggle up to Grumblejack and sit there. Grumblejack doesn't know how to address a snuggle. He just kind of stares at you. <laughs> Does anyone in our little group know how to draw? Know how to draw? <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah. I, mean, I want to take a picture of that. I mean, I, I don't... I have... I could draw. <laughs> It'd be awesome, awesome if we had like a picture of like just this motley crew of people. <laughs> Maskin will do it in crayon. Yes. <laughs> you just uh, limited up with like the IRL. slave girls, huh? <laughs> oh no, I can't draw for shit. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna ask my awesome. slave if there's any um, places I can train around. Any what? Places I can train. Um, the, I mean, they'll just repeat to you, you may not leave for two more days. You may do whatever you wish with what is inside the home. Or the oh, manor. That reminds me. Um, Can I send one of my slaves to town to bring me ink, roll paper... And uh, um, reduce as much as that would be worth in your coinage, and uh, sure. All right. Uh, and with that, I'm going to be making scrolls. <sighs> Begin the crafting of the scrolls. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. I'm just gonna find okay, so... the room and start training. I suppose Grumbles and I are just going to wander around and look at what other people are doing. Okay. So, probably he, stopping the Michael, stopping in at Michael's or Frank's first, rather. Uh, and Frank is like he's training, I guess, is what you said. Okay. Uh, what is he? What is he doing to train? Just. Oh, okay. No, you're partying, right? Okay, you're partying. Okay. So, so, 
Frank is just the, like getting drunk and hanging out with his uh, four servants, and he's just he's all like woo, and the servants are just like glassy eyed, like staring straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Grumblejack drunk? You said I'm certainly try. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> How much booze do we have? They just keep bringing it out. Okay, um, we're getting Grumblejack drunk. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they have a stocked wine cellar. Um, Alright, so... Uh, you're, I guess... <laughs> You can request some uh, some wine from uh, one of the servants. They'll bring up a couple bottles and be like, will this be enough? No more. <laughs> uh, mm, let's see. Uh, he'll look at Grumblejack. Just sort of shake his head. <laughs> how, how much more? Um, Maskin will look at Grumblejack and sort of like Open his arms wide. A <laughs> lot more. Uh, <laughs> the servant will kind of uh, arch his eyebrow and be like, uh, your wish is my command. <laughs> and for Damn straight. And for about uh, 15 minutes, uh, the servants will kind of just create a assembly line and just load the table from one end to the other with, like, just bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you have about like uh, 50 bottles of wine, full bottles of wine on the table. That should be enough. Um, and, and... Open okay. One. okay. I'll just open one and basically show Grumblejack how to chug. So if Grumblejack... Uh, we'll take one in between his two fingers, <laughs> <laughs> and he'll uh, raise it up to his uh, nose and sniff it, and then shrug, and he'll like bite off the top of the bottle and spit <laughs> the glass aside, and then down it in one drink. And then <laughs> and he'll be like, mm, "Pretty good." So, <laughs> Grumblejack will uh, proceed to drink uh, probably about four more before Teodora walks in. And she'll just stand behind the group of you and just stare at you with just, like, dagger eye, just, like, glaring at all of you. User joined your channel. I'm, I'm in my room. I'm nowhere near that. <laughs> or whoever's present. And just be like... I'm going to hide behind Grumblejack. Grumble, Grumble is just going to continue because Grumble is actually facing away from her. And the rest of you are facing towards her. <laughs> yeah, mas <laughs> Masculine is just going to go hide. Behind Grumbles. Theodore is scaring him. <laughs> she she's follows, like, because you're, you're standing in the open whenever she walks in. And she'll just follow you with her eyes. And then just tap uh, Grumblejack on the shoulder. <laughs> and he'll turn around and be like, Oh, pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you see uh, Tadora's eye start to twitch. <laughs> Does anybody <laughs> want to do anything? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Theodora is going to, um, she's going to raise a hand, uh, and it's going to be, like, outstretched, uh, towards, uh, Grumblejack, and, like, her palm is facing him, and he stares at it for a few minutes and starts to raise his hand to give her a high five, and then, <laughs> boom, a burst of energy, like, shoots out, and, like, it strikes him in the head, and it just... Like, a, a impact ripples across his face like he's been punched in the face. And you just see, like, <laughs> slow motion. And, like, he, like, his head turns and then he just, like, falls limp on the uh, table. Oh, yeah. And then she just, like, turns and goes, <laughs> and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> well. Maskin will 
hurry over to Grumblejack and just sort of check to make sure he's okay. Uh, he still has a strong pulse, but he is knocked out. Mm. Um, he'll sort of <laughs> Maskin will look over to some of the slaves and ask them to help drag Grumblejack back into his room. <laughs> Like, several slaves are gonna agree to your command, but they're gonna, like, surround him and try to hoist him up, and they're gonna tug with all their might, and, and like, he's not going anywhere. Well. In fact, in fact, roll a, uh, roll a dexterity check. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Um, you just managed to leap out of the way as, like, they accidentally, like, uh, unbalance him off the chair and he tumbles forward and splats onto the ground, just like a heavy thud. And just lays there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Masculine's just gonna sort of look sad and, I don't know, go back to his room alone. All right. You know what ruined the party? <laughs> Fucking narc. You took it too <laughs> far. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, I mean, uh, Grumblejack will lay there for, you know, uh, about, you know, 10, 15 more minutes before he'll get up and slowly saunter back to the room. And he'll just kind of lay down on the bed, take a nap. <laughs> Um, yep. Uh, that's entirely up to you guys. If you would like to stop, it's probably a pretty decent stopping point before we get into Act 2. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's totally reasonable. Uh, this it's a good point to stop anyways. Um, so when we come so, back next week, it'll be like, you know, Act 2. Um, one second. Awesome. Who just said they were getting wife aggro? <laughs> I feel like I've played with you before. I don't know, this is weird. Either that or that's a much more popular term than I realize. Oh, aggro is a pretty popular term. But, but like, wife aggro. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Have a good one. It was fun. Yeah, buddy. Amen.